Hello everyone and welcome back to So You Want a Crypto. I'm Joe and today another look at Ubix Network, Silent Notary, and Solana. This sounds interesting to you. Maybe consider a like, subscription if you want to check out more. Here are some videos. I think I've made 25 or just over that. Various topics on the Ubix Network, Silent Notary, DAGs, directional acyclic graphs. Go through, there's uh, how to wrap, unwrap Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, some other DAG projects, Ubix, IOTA. And these go all the way back for over a year. So there's quite a bit of stuff in here. All the way back, yeah, well over a year. So if you're interested in that, and I will put some of the more pertinent links throughout this video to check those out. As always, I'll timestamp this and put the description or the links to any of the stuff that I talk about in the description. So let's get to it. It's been a minute. I haven't talked about this in a few months. Took a few months off. Now we're back. The Ubix team is pleased to announce the Ubix Exchange. I believe that's about one of the last things I talked about. Right now, they got a 50 million UBSN giveaway got to be in it to win it so the rules are right here the link will be below but you can get some prizes for talking about ubix ubsn that's pretty cool uh it's a project that i really like it's been around for a long time four years you can look at the full chart right here 2018 let's see this is silent no this is ubix uh this doesn't go all the way back that far, but let's see right here. Yeah, it doesn't go back. It used to be an ERC-20 and then, what was it, SNTR, and then it was UBX. Then the UBX network came about with their T10. And so now you have an ERC-20 version of the UBX and a T10 version, which is the native UBX network token or coin all right ubx the market caps zero zero so it must not be working directed acyclic graph uh no js worked for what well, yeah well over four years if you hear kittens in the background we just have baby kittens they're in my office ubix is a hybrid meaning it has different kinds private and public blockchains in a single network ecosystem airdrop stuff like that they'll be in the videos I'm not going to go too deep. Uh, Ubix, Ubix Exchange, Silent Notary. This is the one that's the the bread and butter right now. Ubiquiri, this is your application where we interface. Crowdfeeding, DeFi Gate, Wallet Fund, Sign It Now. Crypto Receipts, Escrow, Voss, UB Stake, Smart Keeper, four tokens. Service for issuing tokens of various standards integrated into the Ubiquiri interface. And Crypto INF. Some numbers, but it doesn't look like they're quite working right now. There's a Ubix wiki, which I believe is right here. I'll put the link below, and it's got everything you need to know. Ubix Network is an open ecosystem designed to integrate decentralized applications into one cohesive whole unit to solve the integration problem. The following solutions were used. Uh, the original decentralized protocol Ubix DAG Consists of blockchains of various types, has been developed, and is used to exchange sensitive data between applications. UbiCurie is where we interface it. We'll get to all that. All right. So this is the Ubix white paper, and I just jumped down here to blockchains. Every integrated blockchain concilium is a composition of the node subsets that accepted the same concilium rules. One node can accept several sets of rules, i.e. it can belong to more than one concilium. Currently, proof of stake and round robin concilium's are implemented. The block's val validity is confirmed by the presence of the required number of signatures in the block. There is a plan to expand the block header to accommodate other types of valid blocks, e.g. POW and POH, proof of work, and proof of history. And then this little number four right here, we go back down to the very bottom. Number four, Solana, a new architecture for high performance blockchains. 
So it looks like proof of history blockchain consensus, the proof of history protocol. So that proof of work and proof of history is basically pointing towards Solana. So I would imagine that you would see, I'll show you when we get to the wallet, there's a Ethereum. Right now you can use uh, an ERC20 version of UBX. I'm wondering if maybe that Solana will be the next, uh, just because of that. I mean, it's pretty much pointed out. Protocol operates via a built-in historical record that proves the specific moment in time at which every on-chain event occurred. While most other blockchains require multiple validators to collectively agree on when the transaction has taken place, each individual Solana validator maintains its own internal clock by encoding the passage of time in a simple SHA-256 sequential hashing verifiable delay function. Solana, powerful for developers, fast for everyone. Uh, look at the transaction cost right here, 0, 0, 0, 0.0025. And transactions per second is 1,200. It was just 1,650. So it's pretty quick and it doesn't cost too much. Uh, Solana is an open source project implementing a new high performance permissionless blockchain. The Solana Foundation is based in Geneva, Switzerland and maintains the open source project. If you want to check out more on Solana, I'll put all these links, go look at them. Again, same with UBX, the UBX network, Silent Notary, all of the white papers will be in the description. A directional acyclic graph is a finite directed graph with no directed cycles. It consists of finitely many vertices and edges, also called arcs. These little guys are here. With each edge directed from one vertex to another, such as there is no way to start at any vertex V and follow a consistently directed sequence of edges that eventually loops back to V again. So it's one way. Uh, DAG is directed is a directed graph that has a topological ordering, a sequence of vertices such that every edge is directed from earlier to later, earlier to later, one direction. So like a, instead of a blockchain filling the block, moving to the next block, filling the block, move, this has a little wiggle room around the sides. Yubikiri, this is your interface, WeChat like super app. My profile, wallets, contracts, uh, ciliums, contractors feed, a sandbox to play around with, explorer, oracles, and the applications. So let's talk about the wallet real quick. This is my test wallet. And then this is the one that I had and my dog chewed up my key for it on the drive. Anyway, uh, this is a T10. So this Ubix that it says right here, this is gonna be under their T10 format and then the the ETH wallet is going to be your ERC20 versions of UBCDR, the UB exchange. And then if you go to page two, you'll see this will be your ERC20 UBSNs and your ERC20 UBX. That's what all this is about. These see the little Ethereum sign right there. So you'll have two different wallets, an Ethereum version for the, the Ethereum versions of the tokens and then the, the home T10 UBX stuff. All right. Under applications, you have, here's your access to Silent Notary. You also have the UBX Exchange, UBX Exchange right here, where we can look at UBX to Ethereum, Silent Notary to Ethereum, UBX Exchange, I believe, and then UBX to USDT, buy, sell, and this is growing and expanding. Partners for Silent Notary. So Silent Notary is converting your digital stuff into legal evidence, basically. And they're working with Acceleration, which is a Russian construction group, Silent Notary and Acceler a leader in BIM technologies and manager of complex construction projects. And then Langia, which is uh, an advanced certified translation interpretation platform powered by AI word count for instant quoting and seamless project assignment. Announced project or partnership in January 2022. Langia works with over 12,000 certified and professional translators and interpreters fluent in 176 languages. So I can see where the silent notary application is for this because one, you're going to have personal information, you know, your certifications, passports, whatever information you would need to pass along through this. 
uh, that would need to stay confidential and still be able to uh, right here you go verified credentials SSI and DID technologies notarization in the chain to control the integrity immutability and the originality of the digital files to make sure that the interpreter you're getting is a qualified interpreter with real credentials is where I was trying to go with that here's the white paper for Silent Notary, Silent Notary is a multi-platform decentralized service that utilizes blockchain technology to ensure the existence, integrity, and attribution of communications, processes, and data that are important to both individuals and businesses, you know, like your interpreter credentials. Silent Notary provides anyone with the ability to certify and authenticate any kind of data without relying on third parties, chatbots, web interface, the mobile applications, mailbots, API for IoT. And that's this IoT stuff. You can't have Ethereum fees and expect to, you know, your customers to pay for that. And if you look at the scalable stuff and the fees for Solana, that makes sense. UBX is the same way. Uh, I'm skipping through some of this stuff, but you can check out the white paper links below again. And if, you know, if you like the information, feel free to, to like, subscribe. Okay, so here you go. Here's a little, you know, I got a car accident, took a picture. It'll take a little, here's the hashtag, the incident, and it records the beginning of the video, the end of the video, the pertinent information to make sure that it's immutable can't be changed. The, re receives, uh, the user receives a link for the hash transaction. The archive is stored in the repository. Google Cloud Storage is used in the main version. The possibility of using decentralized systems will be considered. I'm wondering maybe like IPFS or something. After the operation is completed, the user will be able to access the saved information in their personal account. So here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Lightstamp technology is provides the following solutions. And this is the hardware capabilities of, or uses the hardware capabilities of smartphones as a solution. Uh, it counteracts forgery, tampering, and falsification of recorded videos, records the time interval of an event, both the start and end times of a video, and provides evidence of a video shooting event having taken place. There's a national patent app for the method of providing the reliability of evidence and the device of its implementation and the method of using this device. Intellectual property priority date was in 2017. Again, this project's been around for quite some time. Next steps include competing the are doing some world national, but that's the technology we're looking at. There's a secure mode for your super super sensitives. Let's see technical. I want to oh here you go. So the principal legal schemes of silent notaries end product uh, event recording device digital file hash smart contract recording on blockchain and evidence step by step technicals. Event, device, digital file, hash, smart contract, evidence. We talked about some multi-platform stuff. And let's see, where is it? It is now very expensive and almost impossible to use Ethereum to certify data flows from IO Internet of Things devices. For Silent Notary, the solution is simple. We can utilize the DAG-based Ubix network integrated blockchain. Currently, UBX, UBX Network is the main platform for data recording. Since UBX Network is actually a set of user-created integrated blockchains, a special silent notary integrated blockchain with Concilium ID 4 was created for the silent notary project. This solution opens the door to a wide variety of opportunities for the legal interpretation of transactions and allows us to build applied solutions in various fields. Let's see, there's a little... Here's the UBN. Okay. So the system tokens. That's your that's your how many's. And then here's your addresses. So here's the emission address. The UBX network platform are used to organize interactions among ecosystem participants and function as a payment for notarizations for the silent notary services. Payments for the services upon commission will be made either by fiat money or by the UBS and tokens using a smart contract. The service is currently free of charge. For the convenience of circulation and tokens usage, UBS and the ERC20 version tokens have been issued on the Ethereum blockchain, and here's the to token address. 
with the help of the CDR project, crypto depository receipt service include the UBX ecosystem, direct and reverse conversions of UBSN tokens into UBSN token. So from ERC20 to T10 can be carried out. So since these services are aimed at the real world economies, the cost of services shall be denominated in fiat currencies. However, the calculations will be with Within crypto economics are made in cryptocurrencies. Compared to cryptocurrencies, fiat currencies basically have less volatility. Some smart contract stuff. There's quite a bit to read in here. I'm trying to keep this as short and simple as possible. All right. Roadmap. Q2, let's see, integration with Ubix ID, Ubix wallet, credit card processing for service payments. So you'll be able to do that fiat. Uh, credit card is going to be on ramp or one of them. Multi network recording functionality, ability for users to create private conciliums and launch their own tokens. Developers in Q3 section with API to create applications running on the Ubix blockchain. And then in Q4, they want to build browser extensions for Chrome, Firefox, and Opera with notary functionality development. Again, here's Langia. Langia, is, here's their site, translation made simple. Langia is a digital platform that simplifies the process of finding a certified translator. Technology saves you time and our network has 12,000 plus trans translators in 176 languages. Let's look at the numbers. I don't think the market caps on, it's not even showing. These numbers aren't correct, but we can look at the price change. And like everything, it's down. We're in a bear. It's coming to the end of the bottom. June. None of this is financial advice, but I'm looking to stock back up pretty soon on these because this is a project that has a lot of potential. It's been around long enough. Here we go. July 2018. For that's the old silent notary ERC twenty. And then here's when we when they launched the new Look at the volume. And honestly, for the way the market is right now, this one is only down 12% in the last month, which compared to some of the others is is not too bad. KuCoin is where you're gonna get your UBX. UBS N right now, I don't know if there's anything to do, like if that'll go on KuCoin. I would imagine that it would. If UBX is on there, maybe they can get UBS N, the silent notary token, ERC20 version. Again, this is going to be, if you're buying this on KuCoin, it's going to be the ERC20 version of the UBX. Um, Silent Notary, this one says that the, the exchanges are BuyTrue, CoinTiger, Probit, and then UBX is the sa those same ones plus Uniswap and KuCoin. I imagine you could probably find some Silent Notary on Uniswap or you know wherever you find your ERC20s uh, if someone's willing to trade with you, but... I'm hoping we'll see this one on KuCoin. Uh, seems like the most logical next next large exchange to pick this up. That's where I'm at. All right. Uh, yeah, again, like, subscribe, comment, and UBX. Good project. Very excited. I know it looks like we're in the dumpster here. I mean, this just seems like it goes down, 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 and down. But these are those golden opportunities to buy. Because this is one of those projects that's probably going to be around. Uh, you know, like Netflix sold DVDs and then they became like a huge streaming service. Amazon, they sold books and then next thing you know, they sell everything around the world. Right now, UBX is selling Silent Notary with plans to do a lot of other things. So hopefully, you know, there'll be a, a large growing ecosystem that uh, makes this price go doo -doo 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 -doo, way up to the top. Lots of room to grow. Cheers.